I don't think we're ready. What is going on, everybody? How are y'all doing? The PlayStation 5 is here. It's after Christmas. Hopefully, those who wanted a console has it by now, but it's still in high demand because primarily the games. PlayStation 5, phenomenal console, dual sense right now my favorite controller of all time and the system has launched with a phenomenal slate of games but for this video we're going to talk about the 2021 playstation 5 big games coming to the console First, before we go into what's coming next year, we have to talk about how amazing the launch lineup has been. Astro's Playroom, the perfect game to showcase the DualSense controller. Demon Souls, the game I just beat on my gaming channel. Love this game from beginning to end. Marvel Spider-Man, the system selling game a high attach rate almost a 50 percent attach rate i believe for the console godfall another dope launch game steeped in a little bit of controversy had some mixed reception personally love the game beat the game with um sponsors phenomenal phenomenal game bug snacks a surprise free game for playstation plus members and so I will be playing that game after I beat this game right here. Sight Boy, a big adventure. I'm currently playing this game with sponsors on my gaming channel. We had a blast today playing this game. And so the launch lineup, the exclusives have been phenomenal. Sprinkle that in with some key uh, third party games such as NBA 2K21, my favorite third party game, and Call of Duty Cold War. The PlayStation 5 has had arguably the best lineup in PlayStation history as far as launch games is concerned. But as great as 2020 has been for Sony, 2021 looks to be even better. And so let's look at the big, the big games coming to the PlayStation 5 near you. Let's talk about it. First, chorus and these are in alphabetical order chorus if you are a star fox fan this game give it a second look it looks pretty dope next we have death loop this is a bethesda game we know bethesda has the partnership with xbox but Prior to their partnership, Sony had a deal with them. Deathloop looks like a dope, dope, dope first person shooter with a death looping twist, hence the title. Then, now this game is actually has a confirmed release date coming out in February, Destruction All-Stars. And as I said with Bug Snacks, this game will also be free to PlayStation Plus members, and I'm really, really liking what I see with this game. Seems like a spiritual successor of sorts to Twisted Metal for all my PlayStation 1 homies. It's mixed with Rocket League, the game looks dope, and the fact that it will be free to PlayStation Plus members almost ensures that the online lobbies should be pretty lit. Next up, we have Final Fantasy 16. A surprise, a surprise 
PlayStation exclusive coming next year. My favorite game of all time is Final Fantasy on the NES. And so you already know this is going to be a day one buy. Next, again, in alphabetical order, Ghostwire Tokyo, another Bethesda published game. Um, it's also going to be an exclusive to Sony, timed exclusive Ghostwire Tokyo. The gameplay in this trailer looks pretty insane over the top. <coughs> definitely, definitely, definitely keep this game on your radar. Next up, this is probably going to be their biggest game of 2021. God of War Ragnarok and Sony has confirmed to be coming in 2021. Can't wait to see how the DualSense controllers take advantage of a next-gen God of War game. Next up, we have Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights, we saw the world premiere trailer. The game looks dope. I'm glad that you could actually beat the single-player campaign co-op um, with online multiplayer. And so definitely, 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 if you're a superhero fan, um, of uh, uh, definitely keep this game in your radar. I haven't been too much a fan of the Batman series, and so I will keep an eye on more information on this game. But so far, I'm loving what I see with this game. The next game is a big one. Gran Turismo 7. And based off what we saw in the June PlayStation 5 event, it looks like this game is pretty much near completion. We saw actual gameplay. It is long overdue. It is time for the Gran Turismo series to return to true form. And it looks like this game is gonna fit the bill. Definitely, definitely one of my most anticipated games next year. And I'm estimating, I'm predicting, this game will probably come out first half 2021. Based on what we've already seen in the game, it looks like the game is ready to go. Next game. And this game came out of nowhere. Hogwarts Legacy. If you are a fan of the Harry Potter series, definitely put this game on your um, radar. But I'm not even a fan of the Harry Potter series. But based on what was shown, this game looks amazing. This is going to be a day one by Hogwarts Legacy coming to the PlayStation 5 and exclusive to the PlayStation 5. Game looks phenomenal. This looks like it's gonna really take advantage of next gen hardware. The next game. Now, I talked about how God of War is probably going to be the premier game for 2021 for Sony. Definitely, definitely keep your eyes peeled for Horizon Forbidden West. This is also going to be a huge system seller for Sony. The first Horizon, Horizon Zero Dawn on the PlayStation 4 had, in my opinion, the best story in all of video game. I like the setting, the theme, the backdrop, how humanity came to this point. And so... Definitely, definitely, this is going to be day one and another exclusive, exclusive to the PlayStation family next um, in 2021. It's talking about exclu exclusives. Speaking of exclusives, Kena Bridge of Spirits. If you're a Nintendo fan and you saw this trailer, you couldn't help but to smile. It looks like a cross between Zelda and Pikmin wrapped in next-gen goodness. Kena Bridge of Spirits coming 2021, exclusive to the PlayStation family of systems, and the game looks amazing. And we actually saw gameplay. This is gameplay 
indicating that the game has been in development for years and is near completion. I'm also estimating this game will come out um, early 2021, first half 2021, definitely in my top five games of 2021. Next game, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker, St Skywalker Saga coming in 2021. The next game, now I was talking about big games coming in 2021. So you haven't seen too many indie games in this video, but this is an indie game that piqued my attention back in the June event, Little Devil Inside. I like the art style, the gameplay, the concept of the game looks dope. And so definitely, definitely put this game on your radar, Little Devil Inside. All right, also coming in 2021, Overwatch 2. Do you remember the big blowout, the trailer, the news about this game? And then it's been relatively quiet. And so I can't wait to see more information on this game. Love the first Overwatch definitely definitely gonna be on overwatch 2 heavy when it comes out the next year another dope game now i put this game in this video but it did not this does not have a confirmed 2021 release date and my thinking my thoughts are this is probably not going to come out in 2021 but i wanted to include it just in case we get a surprise 2021 release project athia made by square enix i'm saying this is not coming out in 2021 just because final fantasy 16 is coming out and this game has a lot of Final Fantasy vibes to it. Exclusive to Sony, a timed exclusive. It looks like it's a, a black protagonist to a black female. And so Project Athia, definitely keep it on your radar, even if this one doesn't come out in 2021. The probably surprise biggest game. Talked about God of War Horizon, but don't forget about Ratchet and Clank. Sony said that this was in the launch window of the console, so I'm estimating early 2021 for Ratchet and Clank. This was the trailer that sold me on the PlayStation 5. Once I saw Ratchet warping instantly between worlds, I was sold. Loved the reboot of the franchise um, on the PlayStation 4. This is my favorite Sony IP. Easy easy day one by ratchet and clank coming in 2021 and to round it out we have two more games resident evil 8 resident evil village not a big fan of the resident evil series but um so far the game the trailer looked phenomenal fans are hyped for this game and last but not least we have returnal this was also showcased again at the game awards for sony i'm getting a third person metroid type vibe with this game definitely 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 on my radar all right and so these are the big the big games coming to um, Sony to PlayStation 5 in 2021, but stay tuned. It looks like we might get a state of play event early June, I mean, January or February to reveal more of Sony's plans. And don't be surprised if we get one of two, one or two surprise announcements. PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale 2. It's time, Sony. All right, dudes, these are the big games coming to the PS5 in 2021. What do you guys think about this list and what games are you looking forward to? Maybe I left out a small indie game that you are interested in. Sound off in the comments section below. I wanna know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date, all things gaming, bro. We're out, hey, your glasses are twisted. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. 
two follow me on twitter at ob1 plays and that's it you're in for the giveaway but wait there's more do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy become a sponsor three ways to join one subscribe on twitch if you have twitch prime you can do it for free two click the join button right here on youtube and become a member and the third way to join patreon.com backslash ob1 plays you'll thank me later also check out the slag bro links are in the description i'll see you later Peace.